Hello everyone, greetings to all. Welcome to our Civil Engineering Objective channel. In this video, we are going to see about very important 5 Civil Engineering MCQs with a lot of explanations. The first question is, when a retaining wall moves away from the backfill, the pressure exerted on the wall is termed as. The four options are given. Option A, passive earth pressure. Option B, swelling pressure. Option C, pore pressure. Option D, active head pressure. So we will see the one by one option. The first one is passive earth pressure. So please remember, passive means towards. That means when a retaining wall moves towards the backfill, the backfill, the pressure exerted on the wall is termed as a passive earth pressure. Please remember, passive means towards. Second option, swelling. Swelling pressure. Swelling pressure is nothing but the pressure exerted by the expensive soil which does not allow to swell and also which does not allow to occur the volume changes. That is called swelling pressure. So third one is the pore pressure. Pore pressure is nothing but the pressure exerted by the underground groundwater. That is called pore pressure. Fourth one is the active earth pressure. So active earth pressure, please remember active means away from the backfill. That is a keyword. So active earth pressure means nothing but when retaining wall moves away from the backfill, the pressure exerted on the wall is termed as the active earth pressure. So according to the question, the correct answer is option D, active earth pressure. So when retaining wall moves away from the backfill, the pressure exerted on the wall is termed as the active earth pressure. So passive means please remember towards, active means away. Second question, the shape of the cross section which has the largest shape factor is four options are rectangular, I section, diamond, solid, circular. So first we will see the shape factor. Shape factor is nothing but it is the ratio of plastic to elastic moment that is yield moment that is called shape factor. So different cross section has a different shape factor. So option A rectangular, rectangular has a shape factor of 1.5 that is the rectangular shape factor is 1.5 so i section has a different shape factors that bit that is varied from 1.1 to 1.15 for i section the diamond as a shape factor is 2 diamond is 2 solid circular is 1.69 that is 1. 7. So according to the question, the shape of the cross section which has the largest shape factor. So out of 4 option, diamond has the largest shape factor. So the correct answer is option C, diamond. So rectangular is 1.5, high section is 1.12 to 1.15, diamond is 2 and solid circular is 1.7. Third question, a soil formation through which is which only seepage is possible being partly permeable and capable of insignificant yield is classified as the four options are given aquifer aquitot aquifuge aquiclude so the first option aquifer aquifer is nothing but it is a permeable rock which absorbs and transmits the water so it is capable of both absorb and transmit the water that is called aquifer. Aquitoid is a partly permeable rock which absorbs water but it does not give the significant, significant yield. That means it gives the insignificant yield. Third one is aquifuge. So aquifuge is nothing but it is an impermeable rock which does not absorb water and also which does not transmit the water that both both are not capable that is called aquifuge. Aquicute. Aquicute is a layer of impermeable rock which is underlying and overlying of the aquifer that is called aquicute. Aquicute is also giving the insignificant yield. So according to the question the partly permeable and giving insignificant yield. The correct answer is aquatard. Aquatard is a partly permeable rock and also it gives the insignificant yield 
Acrylic crude also giving insignificant insignificant yield, but is it is a impermeable rock. That is not permeable rock. Permeable rock. Aquifer is a permeable rock which absorb and transmit the water. Aquifer is impermeable rock which does not absorb water and also which does not transmit the water. So according to the question, the correct answer is aqua dot. Fourth question. The type of surveying in which the curvature of earth is taken into account is called. The four options are geodetic surveying, plane surveying, preliminary surveying, topographical surveying. So first we will see the geodetic surveying. Geodetic surveying is a type of surveying in which the earth is considered as a curvature. That is the curvature of earth is taken into account and also the corrections are applied. Option B. Plane surveying. Plane surveying is a type of surveying in which the earth is considered as a plane and also the curvature of earth is does not taken into the account that is called plane surveying. Preliminary surveying is a type of surveying in which the preliminary data is to be collected in order to prepare the plan and a map that is called preliminary surveying. Topographical surveying is a type of surveying in which the natural and man-made resources is taken into account the general data is to be collected in order to prepare the plan and map that is called topo topographical surveying the topographical means topographical surveying is a type of surveying in which the general data is to be collected for natural and man-made resources in order to prepare the plan and map that is called topographical surveying so according to the question the correct answer is geodetic surveying so in this surveying only the curvature of earth is taken into the account. Fifth question. A reinforced concrete structure has to be constructed along a sea coast. The minimum grade of concrete to be used as per IS 456-2000. The four options are M15, M20, M25, M30. So please remember the minimum grade of concrete to be used as per IS 456-2000. 2000 in general means the answer is m20 but they given the, the condition the structure is to be constructed in a sea coast so if the minimum grade of concrete is to be used as per is 456 2000 in order to construct a structure in sea coast means the grade of concrete is m25 so they given the condition if it is constructed in a sea coast means the minimum grade of concrete is M25. In general means it is M20. That is not in a sea means M20. So please study the question thoroughly. What the conditions are given. In this question the condition given as a sea coast. So the minimum grade of concrete is to be used as for IS 456-2000 in a sea coast is M25. M25 is the correct answer. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment and share to your friends. Thank you.